the, the residents love the off-campus policy or the on-campus tailgate. Christopher Rachko and his roommates were taking out their garbage on a Sunday night when a police officer began talking to them. Cop car like slow rolled by our house. Um, and then turned around and intersected us the second time. He began by asking them simple questions, but then he began asking them why they had so much trash. And then the next day, they showed up to our house, knocked on our door and demanded to see our student IDs, um, telling us that they were aware that we threw a party in our house. Ratchko denies the claims, but the new off-campus code of conduct implemented this year gave the police the right to turn over the students' information to the school. James Bond is the assistant director of student conduct, and he says the main cause for the new code is safety. We were concerned about uh, sexual misconduct happening on and off campus. We were concerned about hazing happening on and off campus. Bond says compared to this time last year, the number of incidents have remained the same, which he thinks is due in large part to more students becoming aware of the policies. Bond said students initially worried the school was taking away their fun. However, with the implementation of on-campus tailgates and more awareness of the policy, those complaints are slowly going away. We told students throughout all of our um, effort, our outreach efforts is, this is the first year of this, and we're going to look to see how it goes, and we need your feedback. Bond says the policy will be tweaked, but Chris Ratchko says the policy has built a divide between students, police, and the town. I don't think they're really going to get anywhere unless they start working together more as opposed to continuing to work against us. For Maryland Newsline Monday, I'm Scott Zlotnick.